everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Aletha with Ribbons and Zippers. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you stopped by. Well, today I am working on my second part of my sloper series, and that is for the bodice sloper. I think that you're going to enjoy this video. Towards the end, I have some tips about creating darts, and I think you're going to really love that. Now you're going to need your supplies and your tools, and just check out this video that I did on my the first part, and that was for the skirt sloper, and you can find out the tools that you need there. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Now to get started, you're going to need your measurements. So this little slide shows you exactly the measurements that you need. You're going to need a few measurements, not a lot, in order to get the perfect bodice sloper. Now you can always come back and check out this slide at your convenience. Now we're going to go ahead and start with the first part of the sloper. Okay, so my first point is going to be zero. From zero, I'm going to measure down. From zero to one is five eighths of an inch. And I'm going to go ahead and mark that point as one. Now the arm side depth is eight and a quarter plus another quarter inches and that is eight and a half inches. So I'm going to measure down eight and a half inches and mark that point two. Okay, so from two to three is half the bust measurement plus another two inches. This brings me to 20 inches. I'll mark that point three. Now I need to square up and I'll mark this point as four. Now let's go back to point one. One to five is the nape to waist measurement. I'll measure down to 16 and 3 eighths of an inch and I'll mark this point five. Now to be accurate, I'm going to measure down the same amount on the other side. Now square across from five and mark this point Six. So from zero, I'm going to draw over three inches. And that point is going to be number seven. So let's mark that as number seven. One to eight is one fifth of the arm side depth measurement. So from eight, we're going to go ahead and square over. Now we're going to measure and draw a slanted line down from seven to meet line eight. That measurement is the shoulder length plus a quarter of an inch. Now to get to that point on the line, I'm going to put the tip of my ruler exactly at point seven. And then I just need to maneuver my ruler until I see it's exactly at five and a quarter. And then mark that point nine. Okay, so now 10 is exactly half the shoulder line. Now mark this point 10. From point 10, let's go ahead and lightly draw a line down that is two inches. Square over a half of an inch. And then go ahead and square up, back up the two inches. So let's draw a slanted line inward to form the dart. And go ahead and mark this point 11. Now, find a point on lines eight and two that is half of the back width plus a quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to go ahead and square down and mark these points 12 and 13. Now 
Find a point on the line that is exactly halfway and mark that point 14. So now we're going to find another halfway mark on lines 2 to 12. And let's go ahead and mark that point. So we're going to move down to the waist and mark a point that is the same distance that we just found. So now mark these points 15 and 16. Now let's work on our front bodice. So let's find a point that is one fifth of the neck size minus a quarter of an inch. That gives me two and three quarters of an inch. Now I'm going to measure over from four and mark that point 17. Now take note that the front neckline is always going to be lower than the back nape. This is your nape and this is your neckline. So we're going to mark a point that is one-fifth of our neck measurement and mark that point 18. Now draw in the front neck curve. Now we're going to square over to a point that is half the chest measurement plus half the width of our dart. And our dart is three inches. So half of our chest measurement plus half of an inch. And we're gonna mark that point 19. Now let's square up. Okay. So now we're going to find a point that is exactly halfway between three and 19. And let's go ahead and mark that point 20. So let's move down to the waist and mark a point that is the same distance. And we're gonna mark that point 21. So just go ahead and lightly draw in these lines because they're gonna be temporary. So now let's find the bust point or the apex. So to do that, let's measure down one inch from point 20. And let's mark this point 22. Now draw a line to connect 17 to 22. Remember our dart width is three inches. Now let's measure over three inches and mark this point 23. Now draw a line to connect 23 to 22. To get the correct slope for our shoulder, we need to draw a line from nine, uh, that is five eighths of an inch. Let's go ahead and mark this point 25. So then we'll square over about four inches, so that's like about halfway, and mark this point 24. So let's go ahead and use our shoulder measurement. I'm going to use five inches. To get to the five inch point on the line, I'm going to put the tip of my ruler exactly at point 23, and then I maneuver my ruler until I see it's exactly at five inches. And then I'll mark this point 26. Now let's measure the length of three to 18. Now I'm going to square up a measurement that is one third that measurement. So I get about one and three sixteenths of an inch. And I'm gonna mark that point. Now I'm going to find the measurement that is halfway between 12 and 19. And I'll mark that point number 28. And mark this point 27. So 26, 27, 28. Now let's square down. So using your armhole ruler, draw in, draw in your armhole. Also make sure that from point 12 to the curve, that is about one inch, and that from point 19 to the curve is about five eighths of an inch. Make sure that you touch all the points, 9, 14, 28, 
27 and 26. Okay, so that's it. But before I move on to the part where I show you how to put bus starts on, it's really, really fun. Please, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can be reminded for the next time I do a really awesome video. As you can see, this is the neck and shoulder dart. This is the one that we created first. So from this point, I'm going to draw a line. Because it's right at the center front of the neck, it's called the center front neck dart. Next, I'm going to start at the apex and square a line that is going to be both my center front bust dart and my side bust dart. Now from the center of my shoulder to my apex, I am going to create another dart. And this dart is going to be called the mid-shoulder dart. The mid-armhole starts here. So I'll draw a line from the apex to that point. And that's going to be my mid-armhole dart. From this point, I'll draw a line to my apex and this is my shoulder tip dart. Now, let's go for the French seam. And I'll label this the French seam dart. From this point, I'm going to do the center front waist dart. I added one more line to form my center neck dart. So now I created all of these darts. Now I need the front waist and back waist. I already created my guidelines. The first thing I'm going to do is measure my waist. I get 20 inches. 20 inches times two would be a 40 inch waist. So we know that this is, so we know that for a size 14, that would be way too big. So for a size 14, I'll do a 29 and a half inch waist plus one and a half inches for ease. This will give me 31 inches. I need to taper in the 40 inches to become a 31 inch waist. I'm going to do that by adding my darts. So I need to divide 31 inches in half since this is half of our waist. 31 inches divided by two is 15 and a half. So 15 and a half inches. Half of the waist length is 20 inches. We need to subtract 15 and a half from 20 inches. That gives me four and a half inches that I need to come, up, come in. I'm going to divide the four and a half inches into three places. And that's going to be my back waist dart, my front waist dart, and my side seams. For my front waist dart, I'm going to do one and three quarter inches. Half of one and three quarter inches is five eighths of an inch. So I'm going to make a mark on each side of my line at five eighths of an inch. I'm going to draw lines from my apex to those points. Now my back waist dart is going to be a little smaller than my front waist dart. I'm going to make that one and a half inches. I want to get up to four and a half inches. I have one and three quarter inches and I'm going to do a one and a half inch from my back. I'm going to make equal marks on each side of the line at three quarters of an inch. And draw in my dart. Now for my side seams, the back side seam is tapered in at half of an inch. The front side seam is three quarters of an inch. When I add it all up, I get four and a half inches. And I'm done. This is what it looks like. Everything is exactly how I wanted it to be. Now I'm going to use my paper scissors, darken in my outline, and cut it out. 
Okay, so here it is. Now I just want to show you how fun this is. So here is your apex right here. It's still intact. When you cut to the apex, remember, never cut through. Now we have all these awesome darts to use to design whatever we want. Remember, this is just a sloper for creating a pattern. These darts are very important to your design. And these are all of the darts that I would normally use. For example, if I close up the neck and shoulder dart, I still have my waist dart. Just remember to always try to keep the apex intact. That way you can cut any of these lines to make any type of design. Just remember to cut to but not through the apex and then you can manipulate your darts however you want. So now I taped this dart closed and now I would just cut another dart to show you how it's done. Let's cut the side bust dart. Now I have the side bust dart and the waist dart to use in my designs. If I wanted to close the waist dart, I can do that. I can do the same thing for all of these darts. That's the beauty of having the lines on your sloper when you draft it. And that's it.